Israelites, we come out week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this sinful kingdom called America, also known as Babylon in the scriptures. And first and foremost, before we get started, we want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son in their proper true names in the Hebrew tongue. Come, Halayim, Halayim, La, La, Yahweh, Yahweh, Bahashim, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Bahashim, Ha, Ha, Raka, Raka, Quadash, Quadash, Ma, 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 Ma. All right, double honors to the pastors and elders of Great Millstone. Also to our elders as well down here in the Lions Den of Yasserola Camp out of Jacksonville, Florida. Harold One, salutations to all the Akimran and four cones of the earth prison to succeed. Today we got a lesson, Lord willing, to edify to the hopefully elect out there, and also the men, women, and children that believe in sincerity as well, man. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. All right, you can get that first scripture for me, Dr. Shaw. Romans. This is the book of Romans, 10 verse 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to Yahweh for Israel is that they might be saved. Con, and this is Paul, you know what I'm saying, praying. For you know what I'm saying the the, the the ones that that one that he had an ear to hear, you know what I'm saying, to the basically he was praying on to, a prayer to Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shai for them. You know what I'm saying? Because they had a record and a zeal to want to worship Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shai, but it wasn't according to knowledge, man. And that's what it, it that's what it is a lot with our people that have been, you know what I'm saying, caught up in these traps and snares that that the fowler has cast. You know what I'm saying? On, on our, you know, before our people. Keep going. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of Yahweh, but, but not according to knowledge. Con, so two thirds of the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know what I'm saying? Some of them, they have a zeal to want to worship Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai, but it's not according to knowledge. Yes, some of our people are going to come up out of that dead state and out of that darkness, you know what I'm saying? And he's going to use the prophets that he set up around the four corners of the earth to do such, you know. Can you uh, get that for me right there? This is uh, the book of Romans 10 and 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh, shall be saved. How then shall, shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Con, so that, having that, pre that preacher is important, man. You know, because Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shai did set up, you know what I'm saying, a table in the wilderness, man. Starting, you know what I'm saying, with other bibbins back in the 60s, man. All the way down today to our apostles and elders, starting at Apostle Tahar on down, man. You know, he set that table. It just is up, up for us to eat, man, at our finest, as he says in the scriptures. Yeah, keep, keep uh, back to Romans 10 and 15, in how so. They preach except they be sent. They, they start right there. Con, so you have to be sent. You have to be chosen. Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shai has preordained man to come out here on these highways and byways and be his mouthpiece, man. And that's just what we was trying to tell those wacky tacky Christians over there, man. Because <laughs> they had a question basically trying to say that a woman can, you know what I'm saying, stand up upon her feet and prophesy. You know? And the brothers pulled out all types of scriptures, man. Prove it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Proving what Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shai has to say about that. He said the flock of his pastors are men. You know, he said the voice of the voice of the Lord is given unto the sons of men. Hey, you can get that priest up for me, Barak, because I know you put it out earlier. I believe it's in uh, Proverbs chapter 8 uh, or 7 when he, he gave the voice unto the men. Anybody don't know where that flock, his flock of pastors, pastors are men? Anybody know where that's at? Fine, because that's important. You have to know that, man. Go ahead. Ezekiel 34 and 31. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pastor, are men, and I am your God, saith Yahweh. Con, and he is our power, man. We can't do nothing without him. That's why you always hear us calling Abba Father, direct our foot pals, man. Because we understand, you know what I'm saying, he's the one that's going to protect us in this upcoming destruction. And, and that name is the, the what's going to seal it, man. So you have to call upon that proper name. You got more? Uh, yeah, let me get one more for you. Sorry. This is uh, Job 39. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> and let me go straight to 17. Because Yahweh hath deprived her of wisdom, neither have he imparted unto her understanding. 
gun, and that's why a woman can't stand upon her feet, um, you know, amongst many people to prophesy, because he deprived her from wisdom, man. I mean, she can do it all she want, but <laughs> it, it ain't gonna be the Lord's work. Con, <laughs> she gonna do it off of her emotions. Right, and you, that, it's like, yeah. that, that's like, that, he made the women and men different. All right, because it's a spiritual warfare going on out here, and the, the women were not set up to go to war. The women were set up, just like back in the times of Deborah, who they like to call upon all the time as being a prophet, that she was a poet. And what they used to do, the women, the women of Israel used to encamp themselves in the middle of the camp and sing unto the men right before they would go to war. And, and, and that would like, it was kind of like rejuvenate to the man to have, you know, all these women singing to the top of their lungs, um, encouraging them. That's what a woman does to a man, encourage them, okay. nourishes them. That's what she's supposed to do in the house. So when a man comes home from war, right? He's supposed to be what? Taken care of and nurtured by his woman, man. God. That's That was why she was set up. That's why, that's why, and it takes a certain level of emotions to be able to do that. That's why men are really not nurtured. We nurture, we nurture each other through these, this word. Um, but, but even with that, we, we, we can't do it like how a woman does it. Uh, I would say carnally. So we, we nurture each other spiritually, but a woman was set up to nurture, uh, physically. And, th and so when you, when you're, when you're an emotional being set up like that, you're not going to think correctly in, in the, in the side, in a, in a, in a scene of war, because you're going to be thinking and acting upon your emotions, not acting according to wisdom. So we, now we have emotional men out here because why they were raised by women, man. So they don't know how to act according to wisdom, like the man was set up to do. God, and that's a beautiful point, Bishop, because this is a spiritual warfare that we fight. So we, we're in a battle right here, you know, before y'all lies, on the battleground now. You know, so, you know, the women is not given unto them to stand in this light, man. Their light is to be at home being those 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 faith warriors, man. You know what I'm saying? Praying for their men, God. praying for their family. Encouraging you know? the men. A, a, prime, a prime example of why women are not able to go out to war to war, um, Eve stepped up behind on the battlefield and look what happened. Hmm. See what I'm saying? Okay. So now when the serpent got her got in her ear, what? She infiltrated, um, the, um she, she she infiltrated our infrastructure. Okay. Right? And that's what brought sin into the world. Proverbs 31 and 10. Who can find a virtuous woman for her price? Is far above rubies. And a virtuous woman is a woman of the Lord, man. You know? But how many of them are out here? How many, how many, how many women are out here trying to be the daughters of Sarah? You know, only the ones that really believe in you, how about she now shine? Those are the women that are in correct order. Teresa, Back up there. First Peter's three and one. Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands. That if any obey not the word, they also may, without the word, be won by the conversation of the wives. Conversation, not going out teaching. While they behold your chaste conversation coupled with fear. So she ain't rising up to the nigga go out there and teach, do this, that, and the third. No, she's encouraging the man, <laughs> still being a, in subjective. Under the authority of that man, like Deborah was, like Deborah was, uh, like, like, uh, like Esther was uh, when she was given order yep. by Mordecai to to help the children of Israel. Yep, that's so, right. Who's adorning? Mm. Let it let it not be that outward adorning of plaiting the hair, like they do in these churches, right. just because they wrap their head up. That don't make you spiritual. Uh -huh. <laughs> and a wearing of gold or a putting on of apparel. See. But let it be the hidden man of the heart. So they got to have Yahweh in their spirit. Right. Um, and what does Yahweh represent? Meekness and, and a humbleness. So they, these women got to be meek too. But in this society, they teach our, our, our women to have the, uh, testosterone. You know, to have that man syndrome. That to, to try to usurp dominance. All right. It says, but let it be the hidden man of the heart and that which is not corruptible even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of Yahweh of great price. That's a virtuous woman. Right. She's you'll be you'll be more valuable to the kingdom if you stay in your meekness and your humbleness and you be there to back your man up. That's it. Not going out and teaching, putting yourself in harm's way. Right. 
and then look for the man to come save you. Six foot nine down. If you were already in your place in the first place, you wouldn't need you wouldn't need to be saved, or you wouldn't need. So that's why the Lord is not putting women out there on the front line. That's a job for the men. Right. For well, after this manner in the old time, the the holy women. <coughs> Also, who trusted in Yahweh adorned themselves with that meekness, being in subjection to their own husbands, even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters ye are as long as ye do well. So you want to be in this truth, the women, they got to be like Sarah, like uh, Bishop Canuck was saying. Right. So what does that mean, being like Sarah? Be Ooh, she called Abraham Lord, Lord. These women, these, these women. These women don't want to call you a man, let alone the Lord <laughs> in these times, man. So that's that's what it takes to be a, um, um, a daughter of Zion, be the daughters of Zion. Because when it's when it's singular, it's talking about the men. But when it's talk, when it's plural, it's talking about the women. All right. But that 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 means you're not trying to assert authority over the men in no kind of way, shape, form or fashion. But you have women out here that says, stupid things like oh it'll take a strong man to handle me why would a man have to handle you that's like a man saying oh it take a certain type of woman for me to be masculine it doesn't make any sense man <laughs> this is uh sirach chapter 35 and i'm gonna start at verse 23 it says a wicked woman abate with the courage make of a heavy countenance and a wounded heart a woman that will not comfort her husband in distress make of Weak hands and feeble knees. So come on, man, just like the bishop and the uh, elder was just speaking on, man. Hey, a woman is that 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 uphold to a man, man. You know, from a, a physical standpoint, not a spiritual, but from a physical standpoint, man. So therefore, if we can't get that from a woman today, all right. It is some righteous women out there, but hey, for the majority, most wives, if we can't get that from a woman today, hey, we go to Sophia, man. You know, hey, hey, it, indulge in her bosom, you know. <laughs> so hey, that's that's where we go to, man. Or 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 or. Because, because by us going to Sophia first, Sophia will bring a good woman to us. Because you do got women out there now that are stimulated by the conversation of the man, like back in during the time of Solomon. Like when Queen of Sheba came, she was stimulated by his conversation because of his wisdom, man. So you have women out there. There's one particular woman that she watches all of our videos. She watches the Younger Brothers videos and everything. She always leaves comments. I wish I could call her name out, but you can tell that that that's a woman of the Lord, man. Right. Uh, Frisa, you're going to down real quick. Uh, at the point where you said uh, a bosom. Uh, go to her bosom, right? Uh, you, you still got more on your precept? Oh, no, that was it. Okay. Uh, Proverbs, just back you up, though. Proverbs 5 and uh, 15. Drink waters out of thy own cistern. All right? So not from these other nations, not from these heathens, but what was given to us, the truth. All right, the water. <clears throat> And, and running waters out of thy own well, okay? Go to running waters. Don't go to somebody else's stream or their river. We deal with the river that comes from Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai. And uh, let thy fountains be dispersed in the street abroad. So you drink from your river, and you drink from your cistern, you fill up your cup, and then you let your fountain be dispersed in the streets abroad, all right? And rivers of water in the streets. That goes with Proverbs chapter 1. Where it says wisdom cry without the streets. So you go you go get the water from the right resource and then you let it out in the streets. Okay. Let them be only thine own and not strangers with thee. See that? So we deal with the words from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah that was given to Israel. Not word that was given to Esau to these Greeks, to these churches. Let thy fountains be blessed and rejoice with the wife of thy youth. All right, the wife of thy youth goes into this truth. All right, that was given to us during the foundation of Israel with Peter and, and Yahweh Shai and Paul and, and going back to the laws at our youth when we were born out of, out of Egypt with Moses, the laws. Okay? Let her be as the loving hind and a pleasant robe. Let her breast satisfy thee at all times and be thou ravished with her love. If your woman turn her back on you, let this word ravish you. Be satisfied with the milk of the scriptures like her breast. Right, this mm. is our woman. This is our Sophia. Uh, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter eight and verse four. Start at the top. Uh, Proverbs chapter eight and verse one: Doth not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice? 
she's standing in the top of the high places by the way in the places of the path. Right. She crieth at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in at the doors. Unto you, O man, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. Khan, and that's what Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai set it up to be. He set up the men right. of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to get out here, you know what I'm saying, out on these highways and byways and the cheap places of concourse and bid many to the marriage, man. You know what I'm saying? He said his sheep will hear his voice, man. All we have to do is keep our end of the bargain and do the things that he told us to do to the best of our abilities, you know? Right. Yes, sir. This is Ezekiel 13 and 4. O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the desert. All right? And what foxes in the desert do? They live in holes. And they go and pick off the dead or pray, and they go run back to their holes. They pluck off anything they can, just like these uh, these church people or people like Nate. You know, try to get money and resources any way they can, claiming to be of the truth when they're really living in deceit. How about I tell you? It says... So these people in these churches, they're like the foxes in the desert. Ye have not gone up into the gaps. He said, wisdom crying without in the streets. They have not gone into the gaps. Even though they're out there teaching, claiming to be of the Lord, they're not going in, in, the, in the middle, of, in the midst of Yahweh and the children of Israel and, and to bring peace between them two, to close up that gap. It says, ye have not gone into the gaps, neither made up the heads for the house of Israel to stand in the battle of the day of Yahweh. That's the focus, to build a hedge around our people, to close the gap, the uh, separation between Israel and Yahweh by, by, giving, by teaching our people of the mediator who is Yahweh Shah. And then ultimately to, 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 to prepare them to stand in the day of battle. That's the goal, they're not doing it. So you got two sides to the coin, man. You got one side, uh, that's wicked, and another side that's doing this work righteously. This Hosea chapter 3 and verse 3. And I said unto her, Thou shalt abide for me many days, thou shalt not play the harlot, and thou shalt not be for another man, so will I also be for thee. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king, and without a prince, and without a sacrifice, and without an image, and without an ephod, Without a teraphim, afterwards shall the children of Israel return and seek the Lord their power and David their king and shall fear the Lord and his goodness in the latter days. Right. And we in those latter days right now, man. You start, you know what I'm saying? You've been starting to see Israel, you know what I'm saying, turn back unto Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai, man. You know, our people, they're, they're waking up, man. Just like you had, you know, you had our people, they were sitting there listening. We was talking to those church folks, man. They was listening, you know, but they, they still had that, that thing that they wanted to hold on to, man. Yeah, yeah listen, but not comprehend it. Right, Done. couldn't hear. Couldn't hear. But it's back at, it's verse three. And I said unto her, thou shalt abide for me many days. Thou shalt not play the harlot. Right. And thou shalt not be for another man. Right. So will I also be for thee. You had a point on it? No. All right, that's why the Lord said that too. He said, drink from thy own cistern. Let them be thy own and not as strangers. All right, so we we supposed to be uh, dealing with what the Lord gave us, man, not what these heathens give us. The church doctrine, the Greek doctrine, you know, where a woman could rule over a man, hmm. you know, where his name don't matter. That's what they teach in these churches. Hmm. And then also he says, so as I will be for thee. So the Lord ain't dealing with no other nation. It's like he don't want us dealing with no other gods. He's not dealing with no other nations, man. Period, point blank. <laughs> <laughs> this is the book of Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 15 and I will give you pastors according to mine heart we shall feed you with knowledge and understanding Don, so Yahweh Ba'ashin Yahweh Shai is going to give pastors according to his heart and they're going to they're going to feed the hopeful elect with knowledge wisdom and understanding man you know it's not going to be according to a degree or some type of college that they have went to. No, it's going to be through the spirit of the Lord, man. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1 and verse 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. God, and each and every man that's ordained to teach, he knew them from the womb as well, man. 
Somebody get the book of Sharot, chapter 1, and verse 14. You know what I'm saying? He knew them from the womb, and he's telling us the same thing today because the things written aforetime are written for our learning. Right, you know? Yeah, 1 and 14. So the point. And also on the point you was making, teaching this word is not according to what degree or what college or school you went to, man. It's uh, being predestined by the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah. Predestined to be set up to teach his word, to give his testimony, man. Mm -hmm. To relate, uh, to be his mouthpieces on this uh, side. Surah chapter 1 verse 14 The fear of the Lord Is the beginning of wisdom And it was created With the faithful in the womb And there you go so each and every Brother that, that feared the Lord That wisdom was created with you in the womb man. You know Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai Just like the brother Babar was saying Preordained, predestinated You know what I'm saying 144,000 Men, 1200 from each tribe and also the one third women, men, and children to, to get this truth, man. And to be, you know what I'm saying? To be uh, the, the, the attain salvation. Right, right. Just like just like who was it? Um Isaiah uh, that he put the hot coals on his mouth. Right. The, he was able meaning he gave him the truth. He was able to do that because of the spirit that's within them, man. You have to have the Holy Spirit, the spirit of discernment, to be able to understand this truth if it's given to you. Not everybody's gonna be able to open, crack this book open and break everything down, but also within that, not everybody's able to be taught. Like you can pull every street precept, go get every historical encyclopedia and have everything proved to the T, and they still won't get it because they don't have the Holy Spirit. Uh, this is the Wisdom of Solomon chapter one and four. Just real quick, it says, for into a malice soul, wisdom shall not enter. Just to back up the, uh, what uh, Bishop Kanak was talking about. Nor dwell in the body that is subject into sin. Right, so we could teach them all day long. <laughs> but if, 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 if they have a malice soul, there, there, there is no wisdom that shall enter into that person. Man. Period. So we can Son. teach and teach until, I, until we get tired. Son, and, and that goes to show you, man, ultimately, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai got to want that individual, man. Right. He got to wake them up. Go ahead with your precept about This is just to back up what the Akim was saying about uh, predestination and being preordained and, and foretold to do this work or, or hand picked before time by Yahweh Yahweh Shah. This is Romans chapter 8, verse 29. It says, For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. So, who the Lord foreknew. He also predestinated, so he knew us before, so he predestinated us to do this work. I mean, he set us up before now to do this work in these times. That we might be conformed to the image of his son. What is the image of his son? Righteousness, truth. Who is who is his son? Yahweh Shah. It says that what? That he might be the firstborn amongst many brethren, so that we can be first, so that we can show everybody else how to walk and talk according to Yahweh Bahashim Shah. One more. Moreover, who he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. So, who, so moreover, who the Lord predestinated, he had already called them to begin with. And from the beginning, those that he called, they were already justified to do this work. And for those who are already justified, they was already set up to be glorified in the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, receiving their crown. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7 and verse 28. Backing up the statement that uh, the, the precept that the brother Ar Arayala uh, brought out. For Yahweh loving none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. You know, and that just, you know, the, the Lord, he, like the scripture say, until a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah loving none but him. That has the wisdom that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah gave them. Okay. All right, this is uh, Psalms fifty-one and six. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden parts thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Man. So the Lord desires truth in the inward part. For Him to desire you. You have to have truth in the inward parts, man. You have to be the spiritual man, not the natural man. And that's what Paul was speaking about in 1 Corinthians chapter 2. You know? So, so to, to be able to uh, obtain unto wise counsel and be um, secured under wise counsel all the way to the end, 
you got to have the Holy Spirit, man. Spirit of truth. Because the Lord desires truth in thy, in thy inward parts, meaning in thy mind. Uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 9. I'm going to start at verse 10. It says, O send her out of thy holy heavens and from the throne of thy glory, that being present she may labor with me, that I may know what is pleasing unto thee. So that her is referring to wisdom, man. So, hey, that with wisdom that comes from the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, hey, by having that wisdom, all right, hey, it allows you to do the things that are pleasing to the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, eventually being the first fruits, all right, that the bishop was just speaking about earlier, man. Yeah, wisdom is something that's supposed to be applied to your life. Come on. Come on. All right. Verse 11 of our wisdom of Solomon 9, it says, For she knoweth and understandeth all things, and she shall lead me soberly in my doings and preserve me in her power. You know, hey, 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 wisdom, hey, you apply that, man, just as the elder was speaking on. So if you have wisdom, all right, you're going to get out here and freely receive and freely give. So the wisdom and knowledge and understanding that the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has given us, we got to get out here and give it too, man. You know, hey, that's why you have false prophets too as well, as we were just speaking with earlier, all right? So that's why you have to have that spirit of discernment to differentiate the ones that the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai have set up and the ones that he have not, man. Well, ultimately, he set them up, but on the left-hand side. Okay. Okay. It's Deuteronomy chapter 4 Verse 5 Behold I have taught you statutes and judgments Even as the Lord my power Yahweh commanded me That ye should do so In the land whither ye go to possess it Keep therefore and do them For this is your wisdom And your understanding In the sight of the nations Which shall hear these statutes And say Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. So going off the scripture that uh, the brother Brock brought out, that uh, that wisdom doesn't dwell in in in, in a, 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 a spirit of malice. The wisdom, uh, the, the spirit of wisdom, only dwells in the nation of Israel. When we get that, uh, but uh, you're just going off of what other was saying as well. It's like, Proverbs 4 and 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. So you gotta get it, get wisdom, all right? Sophia, all right, which referred to in the Greek. So you gotta attend on to her. Again, if your woman leave you, all right, in the world, all right, you gotta resort to this truth, resort to that wisdom, resort to Sophia. That's the woman that that, that you should lamb it after, all right, and one. And, and if you're a man of the Lord. And, and you know wisdom dwelleth within you, and a woman leave you, that's not a wise woman. Okay. That's not a wise woman. Uh, we all are like diamonds in the rough, and we all need some grooming to be done, but if a woman sees the spirit of the Lord within you, she gonna stick that out. And guess what? We're gonna grow in the spirit, and because we all need correction, man. It's a journey for everybody, you know? Uh, I got a preset, I'm bringing it up. All right. It's uh, Sirach chapter 24, verse one. Wisdom shall praise herself and shall glory in the midst of her people. In the congregation of the Most High shall she open her mouth and triumph before his power. I came out of the mouth of the Most High and covered the earth as a cloud. I dwelt in high places and my throne is in a cloudy pillar. I alone could pass the circuits of heaven and walk in the bottom of the deep and the waves of the sea and all the earth and every people and the nation, I got a possession. With all these, I sought rest. Because what did he say? What did he say? Um, uh, wisdom is only going to dwell in Israel, right? It says, with all these, I sought rest and in whose inheritance should I abide? This is wisdom asking the most highest question. It says, so the creator of all things gave me a commandment. And he that made me caused my tabernacle to rest and said, let thy dwelling be in Jacob and thine inheritance in Israel. Right? So that's just basically it. Ain't wisdom ain't for the dwell nowhere else, man. Nowhere else. So can nobody on this earth say they ain't wise from these other men? Now they might be wise, of this, uh, uh, wise in this world because that's who Paul was going against, the people that have wisdom in this world. Right? But... Those that are wise in this world, let them become a fool hmm. in order to obtain wisdom, man. Huh. 
knowing all, knowing the whole periodic table of elements and how far the Earth is from the suns and stuff like all this, all this carnal worldly knowledge, it doesn't it doesn't matter if you don't know uh, if you don't know uh, 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 what to do in the day of, in the day of trouble. All that doesn't matter if you don't know how to how to uh, uh, how to pray unto the Lord for salvation of your soul for to take away your sin to to truly repent. Right. So what? <laughs> What is knowing the periodic table of elements going to do when and, and, and what is this, uh second Peter said the, uh, the, the elements shall melt with burning fire since see, all these elements shall be dissolved what manner of conversation shall you be they just going to know which one's burning up that's it that's how they go. Oh, that, that's so them poor right that's potassium but it, it, it's not going to happen that's crazy it's not going to happen uh, it's not, not going to have you uh, pillar in the kingdom of the Lord to come God, basically, according to the scriptures, like the bishop was saying, you basically got to empty your cup so that you can be filled. You know what I'm saying? If you seem to be wise in this world, well, become a fool so that you can be wise in Yahweh about you know what you Can I bring you something back to the book? Yeah. All right, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 27. He said, you become a fool, right? God. It says, but Yahweh has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise and Yahweh has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things that are mighty, man. So the Most High, he took the small things, the things that are foolish, the things that are seeming uh, insignificant, to confound the wise. And the thing, and the things that are weak, to confound the ones that are strong. Like, hey, you're like, what, what this little weak thing gonna do? Well, it's confounding everybody. That's how you know the Most High's ways are above our ways. He can use whatever he want to use. And normally, he used the least of something to, to, to overcome the greater of something else. Oh. It's a uh, book of Ecclesiastes 36 and 15. Give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning. Son, and that's what Yahweh Ba'ashin Yahweh has done. He have given testimony unto the ones that been in his name since the beginning, man. Just like the brothers have brought out, man. You know, he preordained. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully we part of that number, the brothers that you see to up, obtain salvation, man, in the upcoming kingdom. You know, and through the and through the through us, man, hey, that's how the rest of the you know, the rest of Israel is gonna come back. Cause all Israel is gonna be saved at the end of the day. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, those are the children of Israel. The father name is Yahweh, and the son name is Yahweh Shai. Those are the names that you need to call upon to escape this second death. It's gonna be about by, by the way of World War Three, by those ICBMs, man, those nuclear missiles, man, those warheads. Ecclesiastes 36 and 15. Raise up prophets that have been in thy name, God, and that's what He has done. He raised up prophets that has been in His name, and th and those prophets gonna have the testimony in their mouth, man. And what's the testimony of Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shai? Prophecy, man. Reward, Go ahead. reward them that wait for thee and let the prophets be found faithful. God, and that's what we have to do. We have to indulge in this thing and endure it to the end, man. You know, and we will be found faithful. We have a lot of work to, 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 to still do, man. You know, and it's cut out for us. He said that he's going to call for many fishers, then many hunters, man. You know, it's all a, prog a progress, man. You know, and he's perfecting those fishers right now to become those hunters. Hmm. He preparing our mind, man, you know, because we got a great responsibility, man. Right. Hmm. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter eight and verse 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it's because there's no light in them. Con and you know what I'm saying? To the law and to the testimony. They're not speaking according to these wholesome words that's written in the scriptures. It's because there's no light in them. Like these guys right here, man. You know, these are the foxes in the desert. The ones that take like they never had enough, man. You know, they're sucking our people dry. You know, and they're working up under the power of their father, the devil, man. Which is the so-called Caucasian race, which is the Edomites of the Bible. <laughs> This is the book of First John 4 and 1. <clears throat> Beloved, be, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are Yahweh of 
they are of Yahweh because many false prophets <coughs> are going out into the world. Con, and that's what we have to do. We have to judge the spirit according to their fruits, man. You know, and the measuring stick is right here, man, the scriptures. You know, Yahweh Bashi, Yahweh Shai, let us know what's pleasing before his eyes. And what's this displeasing before his eyes, man? You know, but you still have two thirds of the nation of Israel. You know what I'm saying? They want to be basically controlled by their emotions, man. You know, they, they feel like their emotions trumps over what the father says, man. And it's not that way. And you're going to find out bitterly in the end. He said, the same going to know it by death, by pain, man, if they don't get right now. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the children of Israel, thus said the Lord. The father name is Yahweh, and the son name is Yahweh Shai. Those are the names that you need to call upon to be saved from this upcoming destruction. That's going to be by the way of World War III with them ICBM, the nuclear warhead missiles. And also, when you have individuals that deal off their emotion, that's because the, that comes from lack of wisdom. So, so like I told my son, anytime you have to, you get in a situation to where you can't use wisdom to get out of, or you have to feel like you have to physically get fight your way out of that, that's because you didn't have enough wisdom to get, to, to get yourself. Now you have brute beasts like Esau that will force you to have to protect yourself. But if you always have to resort to, resort to being emotional in a situation because that's a lack of wisdom. Now this is the book of Romans chapter eight, verse six. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against Yahweh, for it is not subject to the law of Yahweh, neither indeed, indeed can be. <laughs> God. Right, the carnal mind is not going to understand the, the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. The carnal mind, the, the, the carnal mind is going to be emotional and, and think and to think that the Most High is unjust because he's destroying two thirds of his people. They won't, they won't understand the balance that he's setting up, the order that he's setting up amongst his people. They, they don't under, that's why he says our ways are not his ways because the carnal mind is not going to be able to understand that. But the spiritual mind understands the things of Yahweh Bashim Shai because they're one with Yahweh Bashim Shai, so they're instructed by Yahweh Bashim Shai. Just like how we were talking to those uh, those Christians earlier, they were speaking a lot of words and they were quoting scriptures, but none of them had a Bible. Hmm. None of them actually brought out the Bible to actually read a scripture and 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 uh, and, 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 and to, to to prove their cause. Point. Uh, to, kind of, to prove their point none of them brought out scripture none of, none of them had a, when i told uh when i told one of the dudes to bring out his bible he said uh uh he said i don't have a bible you have a bible in your hand go ahead and read i was like no bro bring, bring out your bible he's like i don't have one hmm. why are you out here uh uh you know preaching the gospel with no bible come coming out of his own out of his own mind and come uh just preaching off of emotions off of feel goodness okay. uh, uh, why would you come to war without a sword? That's basically what that what, what the brother Zariah was asking. Why would you come to battle without a weapon? Why would you get in the ring to box and you ain't got gloves and you ain't got none of everything you need to prepare for that fight? And you know, those those supposed Christians, that's what they do. They come unprepared. They don't have on the, 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 the helmet. They don't have on the breastplate. They don't have the shield. They don't have their feet shot with the preparation of the gospel. They don't have the sword. So kind like you were saying let alone so it's like but they still out here causing themselves calling themselves doing the work of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai in order to do this this is a battle so you got to have the, the the correct equipment to fight that battle you can't come outside let's say it's a nerf gun fight going on you come outside with a water gun <laughs> you ain't you ain't prepared wrong tool, buddy. wrong tool and you're not prepared okay and Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shai tell us not to lean to our own understanding, man. And he also said that, you know what I'm saying, that the heart is the most deceitful thing above and all and desperately wicked. Who can know it? You know, because your heart will sway off. You know what I'm saying? You go by your own mind, it's going to sway off, man. That's why we need the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shai, man. So we need He's the one that's keeping us balanced on that narrow path to salvation. That's a tightrope. Understand? That's why we need something to measure up to with the measuring stick. Huh. That's why we, we uh, uh, not, not, uh, the, the scriptures and the spirit of the Lord it, it is a light unto our path. All right, we, we make sure that we're lining up to this. When we, when we go into a store and we see and when we see some uh, we see something, we got to read it to make sure it doesn't have any anything abominable in it. All right, uh, 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 like the elder said, 
we have to uh, we use it as a as a lifestyle. Con, <clears throat> uh, and that what makes it become wisdom. Uh, this is the book of First Corinthians fourteen, <clears throat> uh, verse eight. For if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, who shall propel himself to the battle? So likewise ye except ye utter by the tongue words easy to be understood. How shall it be known what is spoken? For ye shall speak into the air. And I just want to back up the brothers because they're not speaking a sound that, that's easy to, to utter. This shit got so much contra contradictions, especially uh, dealing with the scriptures. Because we was uh, speaking with, uh, you know, the, the guys before we started uh, the, you know, camp. Man, we was picking that shit apart. <laughs> Left and right. Man, the guy kept in the jet, bro. It was a guy on the sideline helping a dude who was uh, talking to the elder. Bullshit. How the hell does he know more that that's more on point than the guy who's actually having a debate? Shit, we should have been debating him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? oh, yeah. So that's why that's why we don't have that uncertain sound. How can we prepare ourselves? Right. You can't prepare yourself in the name of uh, Jesus because that shit is done. <laughs> you know what I'm it's done. Bye bye. They keep trying to they keep trying to put the defibrillator to that name. Right? Clear. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, was, what was funny was they all had on they all had on Jesus Save shirts. They had a sign out here that says Jesus Save. You know, that name was everywhere around them. But then when we start going into the true definition of the name, the first thing the leader said was, "Hey, let's not get to the names. That, that really doesn't matter. No. It's about salvation." First thing, you, first thing he said was Yahshua. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, yeah. he, 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 he dropped another one quick. He dropped it quick. <laughs> then tried to pick it back up. Man, oh, it, and that just goes back into to that him, him not being uh, of the ones that Yahweh has set out to be taught yeah. and to and to teach. Because he had his whole setup doing whatever the hell he was doing, but still he called him on two names, two different names, and he don't he called he called him God. And then we bring up uh, we say Proverbs thirty, and then he said the name don't matter. But if the name matter, if you want, if you need salvation, if you want to, how you save the sanctified, but you don't know his name. Come on, you know, come on man, that's an uncertain sound. I, I got an indigestion real quick. You know what I'm saying? Just on that point right though. Cause he did say that. He said, shoot, let's talk. You know what I'm saying? The main name don't matter. Right. It's about salvation. Right. All right. This is the book of Acts chapter <clears throat> four, verse 12. Neither is <clears throat> there salvation in any other for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And you, and you ain't really got to break that down, man. You know, it's it's cut straight to the point, man. You got to, the name matters, man. That's the only way that you're going to get salvation. That's the only way you're going to enter in that rest. That's the only way you're going to enter into that, that, that safe tower, man. You gotta be careful with that scripture. That scripture gets you jumping, but I, I see and, and Christians hate that scripture right there. This does try to get that nigga off the neck. This is James. James 1 and 8. A, a double minded man is unstable in all his ways. Con, hey, and that was a double minded man that we just had to debate with. In all his ways. Yep. In all his ways. He was just the stumbling in the spirit and sliding up the street, man, on his own blood. <laughs> hey, hey, but look, he was falling and tripping and falling all over his feet. He was trying to get the other dude was happening and every time the dude had him up. Another brother come with a precept, knock him back down again. <laughs> you know, he get up, a brother ask a question, knock him back down again. This this dude was the epitome of stuttering. <laughs> Except for it was it was it was it was spiritually. He wasn't physically stuttering, but he was spiritually stuttering. Every time he said something, it was always an answer. You know, I said something to him about what the Lord looked like. He said it don't matter. I said Revelation chapter one, verse 13. <laughs> See, he went tripping and falling. He had another dude that said um he was trying to justify women preaching. So he brought out uh, an act, uh, Aquila and Priscilla. He was trying to justify that it is okay for a woman to preach. But then when I went in the scriptures and told him and let him know, he was, yeah, I agree. You're agreeing now, but at first you just tried to use that to not agree to the truth. So like, <laughs> basically, like that, like like the elder was saying, they double-minded. They'll say, oh yeah, no, you right. But then on another hand, they'll say, no, you wrong. Mm -hmm. Double-minded, they flip-flopping. They, like, they're like a sinner, they go two ways. Uh, they I ain't single, man. Oh. Right, I got one more precept for you real quick. 
because um, uh, what was that precept I just brought up? Uh, Double-minded man, he's unstable in all his ways. So them going off with a name is a sign that there's something deeper that they're going off on. That means, that means this right here. Matthew 7 and 18, a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. And saying the name of the Lord is good fruit. So if they go off on that, that one fruit is rotten. That shows you there's something wrong with the whole tree, their whole doctrine. And that's what we look for. Right. Because their root is not your Howard Shai. That's right. The root of that tree is wicked, so the whole branches, the leaves, and everything will be wicked. You can go anywhere. Anywhere you want to go and debate with them, they're most likely going to go off in the scriptures. You can talk about the hell doctrine. They're going to go off on that. He said it's what? Two hells? Two hells. <laughs> he said the spirit can burn in hell. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, a good, it's a good term to describe people like that. Yeah. They call crash dummies. <laughs> <laughs> they, just, they just spew bull ass without real facts and actually backing up what they're saying. They just base it off of feeling, emotion, what they think, what they heard. Except for actually going into the scriptures and dissecting it. I mean, shit, how many times did they bring out a scripture when they was talking to him, when, when the brothers were talking to him? Maybe even once they kept quoting, but not bringing it out. You know, it's like, yo, that's a, that's a crash dummy, man. Let's get up here, though, y'all. Appreciate it. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22, because, again, with the, with the Christianity thing, it was some jakes over there. So this is uh, verse 22 of Jeremiah chapter 4. It says, For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sadish children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. So our people are foolish. They would rather believe in the Jesus Christos. You know, the Lord says our people are sadish children. I mean, it's basically, they unlearned, they're stupid. You no know, habitual offenders, you know? They don't have any understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. They don't have any understanding of what's right and what's true. You know, they have they have an infinite knowledge of, of, of wickedness. But when it comes down to doing what's good and what's doing right, they, they don't have any understanding. They don't have no knowledge. One minute they saying yeah, the next minute they saying no. One minute they agree with you, the next minute they not agreeing with you. One minute they 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 in alliance with you, the next minute they want to fight you for what you are uh, bringing out. So they are they are sadish. They don't understand anything. They don't have they don't have the faith of Abraham. That's what it's gonna take. The faith of Abraham. Abraham was told to get out of um Mesopotamia where he dwelled at with his with his family and his people to go to a land he's never been before. That's kind of like that's kind of like we're, what we're asking our people to do to come back to into remembrance of the former things that were written that were written for us. So by you you telling them they have to have the faith of Abraham to be to get out of the mindset that they were in. And to go to a new revived mindset that, that, that that's being called upon us by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Precept real quick. Back it up. Mm -hmm. uh, the car. We said they want to attack you and shit. Car. Mm -hmm. Matthew 7 and 6. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs. Neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their foot, feet, and turn and rend you. Rend means to attack you or try to rip you to pieces. Run, they get mad at you when you're breaking out the scriptures and they don't have no 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 rebuttal or no wise uh saying to 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 at least combat or or or, or at least have them to stay silent on their point so what they do they get emotional they get mad and want to try to do what they do or if they think they got you in something then they'll turn around and go, oh yeah i got you then they'll try to rend you they'll try to do that like as as the quan brought out they'll try to come against you oh yeah or they may do something to you. You might be like, "What well, man, what the fly flip on road you see? Right there, aha, uh -huh, I got you. <laughs> Stuff like that. That's how they move. But then all you gotta do is just use the measuring stick or the sword, and all you gotta do is swing by them in the air off the sword to cut them. Yeah, try to square off with you. Come on. Right. <laughs> yep. Everybody know you're not supposed to do that in the fight. Don't square off. Yeah. Yeah, right. like you. When they feel like, when they see that they can't, they can't, they can't mess with you spiritually, then they start trying to do carnal shit like attacking your character, uh, yeah. calling your names, yeah. you know? Yeah. No, using using your hands, like you gesturing when you're talking, they try to use that as a threat. Like they don't like that, like you gesturing at them when you're just talking like I'm doing right now. So it's like they try to use anything. See, when it comes down to that, 
that G was juice, they're emotional. And that's just the truth. I grew up in it. It's all emotion and feelings and opinions. And the Lord don't give a flying flip phone by none of that. He care about what he say in his word. He don't care nothing about how you feel, what his words say. And our people don't line up with the measuring stick. When you go to when you go to using the measuring stick, you find out they come up short. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23, verse 4. And I will set up shepherds over them which shall feed them, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed, neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord. This ultimately talking about the remnant of the Lord's flock that he's gonna gather from all the like, throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, the whole globe, all right, throughout uh that's been scattered, man. We've been scattered amongst the countries, man, for a curse, for uh for we acknowledge our French, all right, for our reproach. So we shouldn't be uh uh taking heed to these uh false doctrines, the doctrines of uh, of these heathens, all right. Um and that's not of our people ultimately, man. He set up the standard, he got shepherds for the nation of Israel, all right. Ultimately, those those cisterns that we should be uh Drinking from it, all right. Uh, I got an interjection real quick. All right, this is the book of Psalms. This is the book of Romans chapter 10 verse uh, verse 3 for they being ignorant of God's righteousness of Yahweh's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of Yahweh. Con and that's what two thirds of the nation of Israel do man. You know what I'm saying? They have a zeal to want to worship Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shai but not according to knowledge. So therefore you know what I'm saying? They'll go establish their own righteousness according to their feelings. What they say they feel is right. Mm -hmm. But that's what two thirds of our people will say if you just sit there and talk to them. They say, well, you you know what's wrong and right because you can feel it. You know what I'm saying? But no, you can't go off of feelings and off of emotions, man. Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shai said, don't lean on to your own understanding, man. And if you do that, hey, you, you're going to be destroyed within that because you're going to go off, man. Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shai has it set, set up how we should walk, how we should talk, man. You know what I'm saying? He has the doctrine set up. All we have to do is you go out there and, and, and profess our profession, man. You know, speak the testimony that he has put in our mouth. Okay, I, I found that uh, in the gesture too. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 22, and this is verse 26. The meek shall eat and be satisfied. Mm -hmm. They shall praise the Lord. They seek him. Your heart shall live forever. God, and I just brought that out to back up the, the precept that the brother Tanyaalu brought out, man. You know, he said that Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shai is basically basically gonna set up that table in the wilderness. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna be, and you know what I'm saying? We're not gonna want for anything. The elect is gonna eat of this roll, man, and they're gonna be satisfied. And their heart is gonna live forever and ever, meaning they're gonna, you know, they, they're gonna basically reap that 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 salvation that's eternal, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh. It's Hosea chapter two and verse sixteen, and it shall be at that day, saith the Lord, that thou shalt call me Ishi, and shalt call me no more by all leave. All right. So you go ultimately resort back to calling the Lord your husband, man. All right. Mm -hmm. Um, resorting back to you, how about Shin Yahweh Shai, crying Abba Father, all right, and not uh, stand up, up upon the one that smote us and, and, and holding on to those uh, those names of, of the heathen, man, yep. those false names. Yep, Baali is uh, Baalium, so it's like pro all these different idols. Idols, yep, really the devil. Yep, Jesus, one of them. Yeah, you can call them no false names, that's right. That was accurate. Yo, this is Second Timothy. Chapter 2, verse 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of God stand assured, having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his, and let everyone that name the name of a Mashiach depart from iniquity. And that's the only way we can depart from iniquity. We can't just be calling on God. We have to call on his name. The Lord knows that those are his. He's watching his eyes are on him. 
and we have the name, the name of the Lord for our foundation. Oh, we're on the Lord Foundation standing sir. Like how they was talking about those Christians, they'll jump from the name so quick and get the hopscotch and they're doing everything else. But the Lord Foundation standing sure they're gonna stand bold on that. John chapter 8, verse 31 and 32. Then said Yahweh Shai to those Jews which believe on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. Verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. If you don't love the truth, if you're not attracted to the truth, if the truth is not even quoting you, then you're not going to receive and accept the name of Yahweh Shin Yahweh Shai. You're going to keep holding on like those scriptures that were here this morning. You're going to keep holding on to that Jesus, okay? And I always say it, blue eyes, long blonde hair, look it up. High heels also, okay? They're the ones that brought that wicked bad habit to our people. But they don't want to look it up, okay? They want to keep holding on to the name, so go ahead. <laughs> that's why that's why Yahweh Shai said um um this is the condemnation of condemnation that light has entered into the world. They want to continue to dwell in darkness. You know, they don't want to come to the light. That's that's people that want to sleep. What happens when somebody's in the bed sleeping and you flip the light on? They cover their eyes and tell you to cut the light back off. That's what that's what two thirds of our people are doing spiritually. Uh, precept. I got one. Get that power, y'all. Yeah. It's the book of Sirach. Chapter 17 and verse 10, and the elect shall praise his holy name. Just plain and simple, man. The, the hopeful elect, you know what I'm saying? The, uh, the Lord, sheep, his fold, man, are going to praise his holy name in truth and in sincerity. Uh, calling on the Father, Yahweh, his son, Yahweh Shah, man. When, when this truth come out, they're going to denounce any other false name, man, if they of, of that number, man. It's plain and simple. Oh, no. Sorry, y'all didn't. Uh... This is. First Corinthians chapter two. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna go right to the point. I'm gonna go to verse four. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit of, and of power, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, like those Christians who were here earlier. They were just going off of feel good emotions. They they uh, they probably read the scripture once, memorized it, but they weren't they weren't truly pulling out the scripture. They weren't bringing out the book yeah. and reading it. Went to seminary art school. <laughs> cemetery. cemetery art. Cemetery. Yeah, yeah, that's something better. Congregation of the dead. <laughs> that hey. your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of Yahweh. All right, what they said about Yahweh, so he he speaks with, with authority. All right, and and that's and that's that's the spirit. That one should be coming out with. Yeah. Uh, a, a lot of these, a lot of these, uh, uh, a lot of these uh, wicked camps and and, uh, and Christian churches, they say, oh, we need money so we can better preach the uh, uh, the gospel of the Lord. All right, but we should. All we need to preach the gospel of the Lord is the gospel of the Lord. That's right. And as soon as it's given unto you, as soon as it's freely given unto you, you freely give it. But these people say, oh, we need money. To preach the gospel of the Lord. The Lord don't need our money. <laughs> right. Money for a uh, jumbo booster jet. Yep. Make the snake I U I C. Hey, shalom to uh, Nakala. That's who she is. Uh, Zion, Nawah, daughter, humble lion, and Yeriel, Israel. Shalom. 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 Yeah, yeah. Just to back up what the brother uh, Zaria yeah, brought up. Um, this is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29. It says, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying that it may minister grace unto the hearers. So you ain't supposed to let no corrupt communication come out of your mouth. Jebus is a corrupt communication. <laughs> you ain't supposed to let that come out your mouth. Okay. When it comes down to these scriptures, you're supposed to be rightly dividing the word of truth. You're supposed to be telling the truth exactly how the heavenly father wants it to be told. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you, and, you, and you speak what is good. That's what you need to proceed out of your mouth to the use of edifying that it may what? Mm. Minister grace unto those that are hearing it, those that are listening. You don't, you don't, you don't get out here and, and spit time fooling all over every witness, expect somebody to, to get what you uh, understand, uh, expect somebody to turn to the Lord. You have to, you have to tell people the truth. You have to give it to them, whether they don't, whether they like it or not, you have to give it to them straight, but you still have to give it to them on their level. You have to speak the truth. You can't let corrupt communication come out of your mouth, I and mean, you can't have no guile coming out of your mouth when it comes out of these scriptures. Because Yahweh Yahweh Shai is paying attention, and they taking note. And when Yahweh Shai show up, and you've been 
left fielding it. You've been coming up with your own thing, you know, not substantiating the book of Hebrews and, and so forth and so forth. Guess what Yahweh Child is going to say to you? Turn from me, you that work iniquity. I never knew you. Yeah. And that's going to be some horrible words to hear because Yahweh Child is going to show up right as the destruction is coming too. And, 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 and for Yahweh Shai not to know you, that means he never came there and sat down and supped with you. Uh, and you know how Jake is when he don't know somebody. <laughs> <laughs> now this is Proverbs 34. Who have ascended up into heaven or descended? Who gathered the wind in his fist? Who have bound the waters in the garment? Who have established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name, if thou canst tell? And I bring that out for the importance of knowing the name of Yahweh, knowing the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Because in that day, what did it say? Uh, his name is a strong tower. Uh -huh. hey, hey, it's, it's a defense. And if you don't know the name, what you calling on? Uh -huh. you, 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 uh, you, when you say God, it's many false idols, many uh, uh -huh. uh, gods of power, but they are idols. You got to know the true living power, the power of uh, the nation of Israel for the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. His, his name is Yahweh and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. This is Matthew 13 and 47, and it reads, Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea. You want it down this way? Okay, so it's like mm, let's go. 47. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea and gathered of every kind, which when it was full, they drew unto the shore and sat down and gathered the good in, the good into vessels, but cast the bad away. And that's the same thing we do today. Right? It's, that's the um, as I say, it's the kingdom, like the kingdom is within us. So we're casting that net, that, that truth out, right? To bring to bring in the people. And we thought we get rid of the bad ones, right? We throw the bad ones back. But we try to bring in the good ones so we can keep them in this truth and bring them to this truth, right? God, it, and real quick, we're about to shot. And that's what Yahweh Shah Mashiach is gonna do when he shows up, man. Mm -hmm. He's gonna separate the sheep from the goat. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's twofold. It start with that, and then you're gonna end up with that. And then just on, you know, backing the brother up. He's having a little piece to it. And mm -hmm. um, they said, verse 49, so shall it be at the end of the world. There you go. The angel shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just, and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. They shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Just to, huh. just to finish up basically what you just brought out, basically. Come. Yep. All right. You want that Romans 1? Uh, yeah, bring that Romans 1. I'm getting there. About that. This is Romans chapter um, 1, verse 20. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made even his eternal power and godhead so that they are without excuse Con, and that's what yahweh is leaving each and every individual man you know i say he's leaving you without excuse you know he got the prophets out here he got his mouthpiece out here you know what i'm saying declaring that the father name is yahweh and the son name is yahweh Shai. And also the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the children of Israel. Thus saith the Lord according to these scriptures. There's nothing that we're making up, man. You know, Yahweh Ba'ashe, Yahweh Shai, he, he loves us, man. And he wants us to turn unto him. You know, he wants to give us that salvation. It's just two-thirds of his people, you know, they're going to play that harlot. They're going to see the kingdom, but they're going to get destroyed on this side, man. Drunk off the Jesus juice. And yeah, jump the punch. Proverbs 19, chapter verse 5. Yeah, Jesus just got poison in it. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speak lies shall not escape. And that's what these Christians are taught and are doing. Every time they speak, all they're doing is lying. All they do. And they know it because when you ask them, do you look into it? And we're letting them know how to look into it. They don't want to do it. You know, so you know that they're wicked as hell. Yeah, they're they're of their father, the devil. Because huh. who's the subscriber and the forgers of lies? Esau, yeah. which is which is the devil upon the earth. So their their they they their faith is in the doctrine of um of the the Nicene Creed. Huh. We you know? didn't uh, we didn't ask him, but I'm pretty sure 
They didn't have a 501c3. Pretty sure. Yeah, they we didn't ask them. Pretty sure yeah, we didn't ask them, them yeah. but they, I'm pretty sure they did. Gone. And then secondly, when it come down to that that Jeebus name, it, it has wicked negative connotations uh -huh. behind it. That's why they say it so frequently. Just you know, just uh, real quick, it was a few occupants. You know, before we started camp, we were sitting there already, and they just kept saying it, and they kept saying it, and they kept saying it. After a while, I started to feel through the spirit like they was trying to literally grab and like that that stuff that's what it means by a stronghold that stuff is really a stronghold it grab people and hold them and they can't get free and a lot of jake don't want to be free of it right. and they gonna want it but, but hell the thing when it come down to it when it went when the thing when things really get serious here then that's when they're gonna let that that, that time fooler go but it's gonna be too late the lord gonna tell you tell them to go into the gods they have chosen but nonetheless, it has a negative connotation behind it. And they use it to literally grab you spiritually and trap you. Well, second, second Timothy 2 and 24. Oh, the 26 to back you up on your point. So what we're we supposed to be doing out here. There's a book of Second Timothy, yep. chapter 2 and verse 24. Yeah, instead, they're putting strongholds on people. We're supposed on. to take the strongholds <laughs> off. <laughs> There's a book of Second Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 24. And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient, and meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves. Right, so you sit there and slice them up with the scripture, let the word speak. You know, we ain't gotta, we ain't gotta uh, roll up our sleeves and fight them physically. We, we cut them with the word, and they said, what, what was the other part? Read it again. Uh, apt to teach. Apt to teach. So the only way you can be apt to teach is to study to show yourself approved. Is that you won't be ashamed in the midst of a battle. Hey, but like, but like uh, the fruit that was from that tree of the, of the individuals that, that we were speaking to, you, you could tell from their fruit, they didn't, they weren't apt to teach because they were super quick to just try to make you feel good with, with the scriptures. Yeah. They weren't, uh, they, they weren't in meekness. Uh, they, they weren't, and they weren't thoroughly studied because every time, <laughs> every time the, uh, the, the elder said oh, uh, uh, a set of scripture, Verbatim, like like word for word, he was like, uh, 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 of your how about Shem Yahweh? What is that? What does it say in Ezekiel? That it, um, the Lord is like a lovely song unto us, God. and like we we hear, um, 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 we hear the song being sung to us, which is the word of truth. It's the same song of Moses, right? But being sung by Yahweh by Shem, but being sung by Yahweh Shai, and the men that are set up in a, an authority under Yahweh Shai, man. Keep going up. Back at Second Timothy chapter two and verse twenty-four. Sure and sweet, yeah. And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient, and meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves. Yeah, if yeah. if Yahweh preventure will give them repentance to the acknowledgement of the truth. Right, we're supposed to, in meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves. God. Not walking up and seeing them oppose themselves and put shackles on them. God. You know, placing strongholds on them. Go ahead. God. And that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil. See, out of the stronghold. So we're supposed to teach our people to recover themselves out of the stronghold, not going and putting strongholds on them. Darn. You know, the exact opposite. Darn. That's a stronghold, the snare of the devil. Darn. That way you say, you have your father the devil. Go ahead. Who are taken captive by him at his will. Woo! He had the devil having his way with him. Darn. Yep. Darn. All right, there you go. There you go. This is Jeremiah uh, 23 and 1. Woe be unto the pastor that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, power of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, right. saith the Lord. And, and, and them same pastors that, that uh, uh, teach that. False uh, doctrines, that false philosophies. Y'all by some outside gonna visit them. And the pastors also go into these entertainers. Mm-hmm. They're, they're priests for the, they're priests on the left hand side. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pushing push that doctrine of Murph. <laughs> it's the book of Isaiah, chapter 61 and verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, 
because the Lord have anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He have sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Ooh. So I wanted to get that to back up the point that the elder was making, man. The Lord set us up Ooh, to proclaim area. liberty unto yeah. the captives, man, to set our people free, rather than to come in and further place shackles on them, man. He, 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 you know what I'm saying? He, he set us up as the liberators, man. You know, with this truth, with this word, with this doctrine. You know, and, and, and that coincided with the scripture that y'all on, y'all have a sock brought out. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Mm. The mm. truth is what breaks the shackles off these individuals because why? They've been taught by the forger of lies, Esau. They've been taught the, do the doctrine of men. Why to create a, 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 a to, to keep create a spiritual slave unto, the, uh, unto them? And to be up under their authority but the lord said we're we're, we're we're supposed to bind them up according to the truth and and free our people all right so that's why the duck that's why the trumpet has to give a certain sound man you know the doctrine matters Robert, yeah not, 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 not black lives death. matter doctrine matters the name of yahweh is a strong tower the righteous run into it and and it's safe. How they are safe? Because to go to the Father, you gotta go through the Son first, Yahweh Shai, okay? One of the Christian guys, I think he was the one in charge, the elder, but anyway, he was saying that through that name, be Jesus, he had killed many people and, and brought out many demons out, okay? Well, whip he do, right? <laughs> Satan can um, pretend that he's, he's healing people as well. Yeah, they got, they got witchcraft and magic on the left-hand side. There you go. Okay, no big surprise. And, and they're not casting demons out. They're putting demons on them. Take this with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's cursing you. Moses, the Lord told Moses to throw that, uh, that, that staff on the ground. They turned to a serpent. The, the Egyptians did the same thing. You see what I'm saying? Threw that staff down and it turned to a serpent. But the Lord knew that it was going to do that. And that's the same thing these Christians doing on the left-hand side, acting as if uh, Edomite going to come out the sky, you know, via Project uh, Blue. You see what I'm saying? Acting like an Edomite going to come out the sky and save you. If I see an Edomite come out the sky, I'm, I'm not hopping in the motherfucking pit myself. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> That'd be the first time I'd do like Jake do on 4th of July, start shooting at the sky and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bless me. I ain't reading no uh, precepts. Oh, y'all, y'all was talking about the precepts. I just brought out uh, Moses. Oh yeah, he was reading. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Right. So Moses threw his serpent down. Right. Threw his staff down and turned to a serpent. And 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 the um the Egyptians threw their staff down and and, and the, it, their staff turned to a serpent. Yeah, and actually said dragon. Right. So 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 what did what did what did what did the um the serpent of Moses do? It ate the other ones, man. Yep. So your house child is like our dragon is gonna eat that. That's the, gonna eat that dragon. The power it is. Yep. Consume. Right. So so the word of the house by Shemel Shai devours the word of the wicked, just like the staff Ooh. that turned into a serpent devoured their serpents um in Egypt. Okay. Yep. Hey, uh, when the elder was speaking to them, and he talked, <laughs> and he was talking about the destruction of America, they was, they was, uh, what? <laughs> they was, <laughs> yeah, America get destroyed. And then, and then there was like uh, a thermonuclear destruction. Uh, what? <laughs> they, they don't. Impossible. They don't. They don't want this kingdom to be destroyed because, uh. Uh, because, in their mind, this is this is the Lord's kingdom. So, right, they they can do whatever they want. They can build the biggest churches. They can have their own little <laughs> gatherings. They think it's wood. Yeah. Themselves. They think the kingdom gonna be like Woodstock. Con, con, yeah, con. They, it's, it's all love, man. It's all love. <laughs> yeah, it's all love. Peace, man. <laughs> Burn. What is it? Burning man. <laughs> Burning man. <laughs> Burning man. <laughs> and that, was, uh, that was passed down this year too. Yep. <clears throat> this Amos chapter three and verse six. Shall the trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Should there be an evil in the city, and the Lord has not done it? Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets. And they don't have the spirit of the prophet, the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of prophecy. They don't, they don't have the spirit of prophecy to see the things that are coming to this place, to see the downfall of this kingdom, and see Israel being lifted back up. Their doctrine is of this world, and that's why they're going to fall with it if they keep on their path they're going down. Mm. Hey, it's going. Huh? They don't want to see Israel lifted back up. Cause guess what? They're playing the part along with the individuals 
um, um, in, Re in Revelation chapter eleven, right? That 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 hated the two the, uh, the two olive trees because the two olive trees what did what persecuted? How do we persecute them with the word? So they wanted they wanted to destroy the two olive trees. So the two thirds of our people, um, are 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 playing the part of um of, of Esau or, or the devil, wanting to destroy the olive trees, and not wanting the olive tree because guess what? That means they have to come into out of the darkness into the light, and they don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. But the people that 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 that, that have faith in Yahweh by Shemuel Shai and sincerity and truth, they want the light to shine bright. They want they want the light to be a thorn in the side of these people, and that's what we're supposed to be. Like people, like like the people are supposed to be in agony when they when they see us walking up and start talking the word of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. Just like how just like how like their doctrine makes us cringe. Oh well, we, we do the same thing to them. <laughs> but they they they're gonna show their their hatred because why? They're of their father, the devil. So that true hate is gonna come out when you start exposing. They've been living a lie their whole life. You become the enemy at that point, not the person that lied to them. You say, you say, I'm gonna become your enemy to the truth. Uh, going off what the bishop said earlier, they don't want to see us make it. They don't want to see us lift it. They don't want to see you win. <laughs> Psalm chapter eighty three. Verse two, for lo, thine enemy make it make a tumult, and they hate and they, and like it, and they that hate thee have lift up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. No matter what doctrine of people believe in the scriptures, they all believe that everyone can make it. They all believe that Israel has been uh, done away with, and now the whole all nations of the of the earth can uh, uh can be saved. Because they all they all agree with one thing that Israel is just tossed to the side. Uh, Israel don't matter. All right, but but uh, what they don't what, what they didn't what they haven't the proof in their hands that they don't read is that uh, like the elder was, uh, was talking to those Christians those those gates that are that, that are going to come yeah. down that are going to come down and be part of heaven the uh, 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 new heaven and a new earth those gates are, are is only going to be 12 of them mm -hmm. and are all going to be of the uh, of the tribes of Israel right so with that being said where are they going to go because the children of the promise is what it's all about and what did he promise them the holy land and who was only supposed to be able to dwell in the holy land that's throughout that's in the old new testament apocrypha for everywhere they're, they're, where are they going to go any Book of Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 18. Right, somebody get Romans 11 and 1. Y'all can break it down. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land, wasting nor destruction within thy borders. Yep. But thou shalt call thy wall salvation and thy gates praise. The sun shall be no more thy light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee. But the Lord shall be unto thee in everlasting light Ooh. in thy power and thy God, thy glory. The sun shall not, the sun shall no more go down, neither shall thy moon withdraw itself, for the Lord shall be thy everlasting light, and the days of thy morning shall be extended. So basically, uh, wisdom and knowledge and understanding gonna be with uh, the elect uh, 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 from generation to generation, you know, forever. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Verse 21, thy people also shall be all righteous. Ooh. They shall inherit the land forever, the branch of my planting, the work of my hands that I may be glorified. So right, everything uh, will be for the Lord's name's sake. You know, not not for us, but for Yahweh Hashem Yahshua's name's sake. We uh, basically set up the kingdom of Israel again. You know, send Yahweh Shah our salvation. You know, what I'm saying uh, arise with healing in His wings. Yep, He's at right. twelve and, gates. Uh, right. And, and that woman and 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 uh, and um, Revelation chapter twelve was clothed with the sun and and the moon at our feet. Right, that, we're gonna always be established that the dragon will no longer be able to come and try to devour us and take that away from us. You know, so we're gonna always be established in righteousness and in order and in truth all, the, all forever. Ain't no end to that. You know, um, Romans 11 and one? Yep, real quick. It's Romans chapter 11, verse one. I say then, hath Yahweh cast away his people? Yahweh forbid, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin, man. Yeah, one more verse too after that. Okay. All right, it says, Yahweh has not cast away his people, which he foreknew. Yeah. Wrote ye not what the scriptures say of uh, Isaiah, how he maketh intercession to Yahweh against Israel, saying, 
the Lord, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thy altars, and I am left alone. They seek my life. Right? So now, that's so what now, Elijah, that's what Elijah said. Con. Elijah thought he was the only prophet around. Con. And so the Lord hasn't cast away his people that he foreknew. But what he did, he had to, to bring his people uh, closer, draw his people closer to them. He sent down that enzyme. Now, the enzyme is the spirit of uh, Yahweh Shai. And that's the banner. The word is the banner that we lift up on the high mountain, man. And so that's what's bringing us back. He didn't cast away his people that he foreknew. He put his people on punishment. And we're exiled out of that land. And he always leave a remnant. He always leave a remnant. He, he said he, he has reserved for him 7,000 men. Con. Just like he did with Elijah. They thought there was nobody else around, but the Lord left him one, Elijah. Con. Yeah, one prophet. Con. And just like now, he still got the elect. Con. They're like, nah, ain't nobody on the earth. Yeah, all right, the elect is here. Con. Shit. I got a, yeah, I got an indigestion. We the, we, yep, we the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. All right, this is the book of Numbers. Chapter 23. In verse 19, Yahweh is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Have he said, and shall he not do it? Or have he spoken? And shall he not make it good? Conan, I just brought that out, out to back up the brother, man. If Yahweh by Shin Yahweh Shah says, says that he, you know what I'm saying, the promise is unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he means that, man. That's what he set up the promise to be for. So he's not gonna go back on his promise and draft up, draft in oranges to the apple tree, man. <laughs> you know, that's out of the question. He's not gonna do those things. So those that's why we call those Christians wacky tacky Christians, man. And we let them know that they double-minded, man, and they're unstable in all their ways, man. You know what I'm saying? They're basically spiritual lunatics. Now, now what they'll say to that is, but can he craft in some different, some different tribes? Yeah. And what we'll say, yes, yeah, he, he can, but, he don't want but to did he say he would? Jeremiah 31 and 35. Uh, <laughs> this is the book of uh, Malachi 3 and 6. For I am, uh, for he is the Lord, Yahweh. He changes not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Mm. Yeah. Did he change? Oh, no, 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 no. You good? Nah. Uh, just backing up the brother Mazan, that the Lord doesn't change. He does. He, he didn't. He didn't cast away the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. Just because you don't see us in that land doesn't mean he's not dealing with us. You know, like like a lot of these Christians like to do. They'll, 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 they'll try to gaslight you. You ain't never been to Israel. You ain't no Israelite. Right? Right. Right. Yeah. Like Man, it's funny, funny thing is, I had a, I had a guy that I grew up with. He's a, he's a Nubian. He told me that how you Israel, how you an Israelite of Israelites has been around since 1948. I'm like, damn. I'm like, I'm like, yo, what can I even say? I just, I, I just shut the hell up, bro. I'm like, yo, this guy too. Can't say shit to that, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> this is Jeremiah. Yeah. This is Jeremiah. Yeah. Chapter 35. Wait, 35, right? 31. Oh, 31, 31, 31. Chapter 35. Right. Verse 35. Yeah, chapter, thir uh, chapter 31, verse 35. Thus saith the Lord, which give the sun for a light by day, and the ordinance of the moon, and of the stars for light by night, which divideth the sea, when the waves thereof roar, the Lord of hosts is his name. He changed not, right? Go ahead. God. If those order ordinances, oh, you, you. if yeah. those ordinances depart from before me, saith the Lord, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. So God. <laughs> you know, go ahead. God, so Yahweh Shai is not gonna go back on his promise, man. He said everything, you know what I say, he'll stop everything for being out of order before he do that, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because he spoke everything in existence. So he spoke it, so he made it good, man. And he's not going to change it. Right. And he told us not to meddle with them that's given unto change, man, when it comes to the scriptures. Yeah, if you're not lining up with the measuring stick, yes, you have to change. You know, so you are, me me you know, lining up with it. 
But when it comes to the scriptures, man, we shouldn't meddle into change. Yep. And see, and, and we can look up and see the sun, moon, and stars. Come. So that means Israel's still here. Come. Come. Oh. This is Ecclesiastes 4 and 16. Mm -hmm. There is no end of all the people, even of all they have been before them. They also that come after shall no rejoice. So like it shall not rejoice in him. Surely this also is vanity and vexation of spirit. Done. So there's no end of all people, man. So when they try to tell you that Israel is done away with and we don't know who Israel is, <laughs> we do. The spirit has revealed it to us, man. You know what I'm saying? The spirit bear witness that we are the children of Israel. We can tell according to the prophecies, man. And like they try to say that Edom done away with. They try to, you know what I'm saying, basically wipe away their history. Not yet. Thank you. I was about to say it. Yeah, not it's, yet. It's, it's going to happen. Prophecy. It's prophecy that it's going to happen. Yeah. But no, they not done away with yet, man, because they still got to get paid back what they, mm -hmm. they, they the have done, man. Days. They got to reap what they have sown. Mm -hmm. Thus said the Lord. That's part of the prophecies as well. Mm -hmm. So you can't escape your, 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 your judgment, Esau. It don't matter what lies you try to come up with, man. You know what I'm saying? On your television and all your sorcery and witchcrafts that you do. Hey, and, um, and um, King David also knew that they were going to be done away with forever. Uh, scripture I want to bring out real quick. Um, this is um, this is um, Psalms chapter fifty-two. I'm gonna start it. Um, I'm gonna get to the point and start at verse um, five. This is talking about Doag the Edomite that said that um, that um, that told Saul where King David was hiding. All right? It says, Yahweh shall likewise destroy thee forever. He shall take thee away and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place and root thee out of the land of the living, say law. So the Lord, the Lord is going to do away with him forever, man. It's, it's always, a, listen, he'll put here to do wickedness and he has an end point for where there's not, going, there's not going to be any reason for any wickedness to be on the earth anymore. So he has, he's going to do away with those spirits. He's not going to, there's not going to be a body on this earth for them spirits to come back into. Psalm chapter 22, verse 22 and 23. I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise thee. See, we were, we were praising in the name of Yahweh, Bashin Yahweh Shai, and letting them know that the letter J doesn't exist, exist in the alphabet of the Hebrews, okay? Mm -hmm. But the reason they don't fear this name is because of this, verse 23. Yea, that fear Yahweh, Praise him, all ye, the seed of Jacob. Glorify him and fear him, all ye, the seed of Israel. So they don't fear at this time, Yahweh Shai, but they will fear him when he comes back in those chariots and he's be zapping people, wicked people, left and right. Okay? And you can tell that these, uh, that these uh, Christians, they don't fear the Lord because the first thing they talk about is love. Come they, 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 they say repent, they, they say repent, but they don't say repent uh, because the Lord is going to destroy this place for all this uh, sin and abomination uh, uh, and wickedness that is done unto the children of Israel, un unto the Lord's people. They just say, you know, you love everybody. Yep. Go ahead, go ahead, repent. Because you love you. That's it. They, they don't talk about the fear that is Yahweh by Shem Yashah. They don't talk about how he destroyed Egypt, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, and Rome, and Babylon. How and how of uh, uh, today America is going to be destroyed. Yep. He said what? <laughs> <laughs> nah, they basically, they paint the Heavenly Father as a big simp. Okay. And we all know that Yahweh Yahweh Shai is anti-simp. He don't call his, he don't call his men to be simps. Okay. Because if the Lord was like, like they like to say, if the Lord was all love, the flood when it came, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah when it got destroyed, uh, the, the children of Israel, we wouldn't be in the situation we're in. There'd be a lot of things that he wouldn't have done because he loved us. He's all love. <laughs> and that's a false balance unto the Lord. God, but you know, when they come down to these scriptures, they wrestle with it. I got a precept to bring, you know, to back that up. This is Sirach, chapter 19, verse 11. This is a fool travailing with a word as a woman in labor of a child. So these, these, um, these false prophets, these these ones, these pastors that have not been son of the Lord, they have not been called by Yahweh by Shem Yashah. When the truth comes out, they start wrestling with the, they start wrestling with the word of the Lord yeah. because it's the truth, and it's like it's just like and it, and it hurts them, it, it causes them pain, just like a woman that's in travail with a child when she's about to give birth. 
it hurt them. It make them mad. They 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 fight. That's why they get emotional like they do because the word of the Lord is like once once you stab that sword, so it's sticking them and they trying to pull it out and they can't pull it out because yeah. it's a spiritual they, blade. They want to push it out like a baby. Get it away. Get it away. <laughs> and it's like and it, and it ain't working. It's like if they do push it out, the heavenly Father have another brother come grab, pick it up, and stab it right back in the same spot again. Yeah. But that's what they do. They wrestle with the truth and the righteousness of Yahweh about you know, shot. Mm -hmm. When it truly comes out, they wrestle with it because they're foolish. That's why they wrestle with this. You talk to a fool, he even he even appreciate nothing you say. He even despise everything you say at your face. Especially if you write and you going according to the truth, he gonna despise it. It's just like talking to somebody that sleep, dead yeah. to the world, and they wake up. They be like, "Oh, what you talking about?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> Book of Sirach, chapter 13 and verse 23. When a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue, and look what he said, they extol it to the clouds. But if the poor man speak, they say, What fellow is this? And if he stumble, they will help to overthrow them. Mm, there you go. Right. That's it right there. And that, that's two-thirds of our people in a nutshell, man. If any one of these guys, you know what I'm saying, rich, rich in, in their pockets, rich in status. If they they speak and say anything, they're gonna exalt it to the clouds, man. But when they actually see the man of the Lord out there, they look at us like, man, who is this man of person? Because we're not rich in, in status in their eyes. You know what I'm saying? Because we're not, we don't have the things that they think we should have. You know, we're not, you know what I'm saying, comfortable to look at upon. You oh, know, Con, you know, we and we basically ain't money making off the people, man. Yeah, yeah, you know we what I'm saying? Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. So we, we, we ain't uh, 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 bringing upon ourselves that thick clay, that debt. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, we ain't going around, you know, driving around listening. What, what that was with that, 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 that supposed Jake Bishop that got robbed on TV. Uh, he remember was, him? They yeah, he was about. riding around or whatever. He was riding time. He was a hustling baby. Yeah, he was hustling the people. So he was telling you the truth, but because we ain't like that, oh no, nah, they ain't listening. Like like the brother was like the brother was I was saying, man, who who they is? They 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 listen to they listening to the theolo theological cemetery schools. They ain't listen to the average Joe Schmo that the Lord is looking for, like the elder was saying earlier. Fine. About bring out bringing out this word. Even our own families don't even listen to because they think, oh, you such and such, oh you my cousin. I'm not we not the same people that you knew back then. We completely different. Right. Lord Malachi, changes you. Make it Malachi 3 and 8 real quick. Uh, bring this up, bring, bring this up. Malachi 3 and 8. Because uh, they, they're getting rich because they're robbing the Lord. But they, they you know, they can't, thank you, yeah. They can't really rob from the Lord, though. Because our, 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 our um, riches are what? Stored in heaven. Uh, and the way they try, and the way they robbing Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shai is they robbing Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shai by taking his, his precious treasure, man, his, his people. You know what I'm saying? And deceiving them. Scattering the flock. Just like the brother brought out earlier, man. Yep. Go ahead, bring it up, man. This is Malachi chapter 3, verse 8. It says, Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, Wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. Con, and these the guys face that need to be right by that scripture. Mm -hmm. Because that's what they're doing, man. They robbing Yahweh by Shin Yahweh of his precious jewels, man. His people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. <laughs> Make sure you get Nate the snake. Close in person. Had to get Nate. Had to get Nate on there. Mm -hmm. uh, I was just telling the brother Nate. Uh, 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 a lot of these uh, Israelite camps, they have really big gauntlets on their forearm, and Nate, he was a Mr. Teacher. I saw a bust down. Bust down diamonds in his gauntlets. He, he had, he had, he had, a, he had a whole bunch of diamonds in his gauntlets. I was like, oh, all right. That's what, that's what preaching the words, Lord, uh, preaching the Lord, Lord's word gets you. Huh? Yeah, yeah, that's what preaching Jebus gets you. Yeah, God, so you God. can't make no money off Yahweh Shai. See, the money you make with Yahweh Shai is stored up in the heavens. See, down here on earth, you can you can preach Jebus, Jebus, Jebus all day, and you'll get all kind of money from people. And that's why that's why uh, that the leader of their of their syndicate of their group or sector started teaching in the name of Jesus Christos because ain't no ain't no money to be made off Yahweh Shai because Yahweh Shai ain't having that. Isn't he a millionaire now? Allegedly, allegedly like two hundred fifty million. Yeah. Yeah. Try try to speak up too, y'all. It's getting kind of low. 
And this is the book of Jeremiah chapter 8 and verse 11. For they have healed the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly, right. saying, peace, peace, well, there is no peace. Right, that's that love doctrine they teach in church. God, mm -hmm. God loves you. No, he, no, he don't if you're wicked. God. Verse 12, were they ashamed when they have committed abomination? Nay, See? they were not all at all ashamed. Neither could they blush. Therefore shall they fall amongst them that fall in the time of their visitation. They shall be cast down, saying the Lord. God. Damn, oh, man, that's his Lord gonna, Lord gonna take it there with him. When they bring that MOTB, they gonna fall to that. God. That's right, man. <clears throat> Damn, all the tricks of the devil, they gonna fall right to it, just like the churches. Just like the uh, Christian churches. Fell right to it, man. Go ahead, the bar. That was fire. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 28 and verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war, of evil, and of pestilence. And I just got that because the title of the brother lesson is, you know, the Lord setting up prophets and teachers according to his heart. Because any uh, true prophet of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, is going to be in the same spirit of prophesying against this place, man. Just like uh, we were in the days of old, prophesying against the, the weakness of this place, prophesying the destruction of this place, prophesying against the philosophies and the doctrines and the false names and the, all the abominations of this place. You know, so, uh, and going back until you should know a tree uh, uh, according to its fruits, man, because if they not, if they say they're coming in the name of the Lord, but they're not prophesying, specifically prophesying against this place of America, man, and the wickedness of this place, man, they have not of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, he did not set them up to teach his truth, to give his testimony, to give his word, man. You know? The so, Spirit of the Lord is Spirit of prophecy. God. And uh, those individuals who we're talking to, they weren't speaking any type of prophecy. They weren't saying that, that, uh, that Yahweh was saying, or uh, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah is going to destroy this place. They didn't say he was going to, they didn't say that they, that he was going to destroy the wicked or anything. They were just, Sing it. Man pleasing. They were just trying to trying to make you trying to make you feel good. Going yeah. with the flow. Going with the flow. Yeah. They said America was gonna be destroyed, but they just didn't know how. Okay. Uh, said, uh, yeah. but, but we after we proposed it to Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, said, yeah, yeah, yeah. said the answer. You gave my alley oop. They didn't say the world, right? Yeah, right. They didn't say the world. They did say the world. They said the world. The Christians they gonna destroy the earth. They said gonna destroy the whole earth. Yeah, yeah. 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 New Earth. Yeah, it's about creation all over again. Oh, yeah, that God. makes sense. Yeah. 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 Crazy, it makes perfect man. sense. I'm going to destroy the Earth and create it all over again, so we have to go through the same process again? That doesn't make any sense. He's destroying the rulership on this Earth. Yep. That's it. We're going to have a righteous rulership. That's yep. like you're saying, Bishop, all the time. He just going to come move some furniture. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. yep. He said the, they said the Earth. Matter of fact, I'm going to get that. Yeah. Yep. It's Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 31. Even thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. For the fraud is an abomination to the Lord, but his secret is with the righteous. The curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked, but he that blessed the habitation of the judge. And that's just what it is. We're not supposed to, we don't want nothing from this place. We don't seek the, the doctrines, philosophy. We don't want the money. We want to be saved from this place. Oh, because it's an abomination to the Lord. And we fall on behind the Lord. So it's supposed to be an abomination to us too. Something to be hated. We hate the, the powers of this world and the darkness of this place. We want to be saved from it. Because the curse of the Lord is the house of the wicked. And this is the house of the wicked. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. And we're trying to get saved from the destruction that's coming to this place. Huh. And, and the scripture also said, Envy not thou the oppressor, man. We shouldn't envy these damn devils, man. They have nothing to envy in, you know? So therefore, hey, you see it in two thirds of our people, they envy this devil. That's why they keep his holidays. You know what I'm saying? That's why they get the blind, and they, they have, you know, the um, blue contacts and all that stuff. They envy these devils. They want to be in their spot, so to speak. But Yahweh Bashi, Yahweh Shai said, we got greater, man. You know what I'm saying? Theirs, their rulership is but for a short time. The rulership that he pr promised Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man, is forever. You know what I'm saying? An everlasting kingdom, man. You know what I'm saying? We have a so much better, great reward than anything this devil can offer us on this side, man. So we shouldn't sell our soul, man. We shouldn't sell our life to this damn place, man. Right. The, only, the only place, the only, only person that, you know what I'm saying, deserve our soul is Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shah. He paid the ransom for it. Come on. 
Uh, let me preach that real quick. Yeah, yeah, right after this. Uh, Jeremiah 2 and 33. Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Therefore hast thou taught the wicked ones thy ways. Con, so therefore, man, hey, we shouldn't trim our ways to seek love in this society, man. You know what I'm saying? And as you're doing that, man, hey, for the ones that have done it, that trim their ways to say, hey, did you teach that? You know these wicked ones your ways? Are you just going along with the flow as the brothers were speaking about, man? You know, are you just shucking and jiving? That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. The second as yeah, they, they trim their way. They, they go get a job. They try to talk like Esau. Uh -huh. You know, <laughs> us. We might not. We don't want to bend or yield. So they, they might. We might be the last ones hired, first ones fired. Uh -huh. You know, we, we don't run when we hear those keys jangling when they walk around the corner. Shink, shink, shink. We busy. We working hard. Try to. Well, yeah, try to like they working. <laughs> like you all. You, what do you say? Uh, move with. Uh, it's just uh, urgency, you yeah, know. Yeah, haste and all that. Yeah, no, we ain't doing all that. Mm -mm. But anyway, uh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. this is Second Ezra 11, verse 44. Yeah, over to the end. The highest also have looked upon the proud times, right, and behold, it. they are ended, and his abominations are fulfilled. Right. And therefore appear no more thou eagle, nor thy humble, oh. horrible wings, nor thy wicked feathers, right. nor thy malicious heads. Yeah, nor right. thy hurtful claws, nor all the vain, thy vain body, that all the earth may be refreshed and may return, oh. being delivered. So he going to do away with the earth? No. He said the earth going to be refreshed. Fresh, right? Right? Renewed. That's right. That all the earth may be refreshed and may return, being delivered what, what, from thy violence, and, the, and that she may hope for the judgment and mercy of him that made her. You know, that's letting us know that, hey, just like the elder was saying, that the earth is going to be refreshed, it's going to be renewed. You know, it's just Esau is going to be moved out of the way, man. You know, he's going to leave him neither root nor branch, you know what I'm saying, so that he can be found on the earth again. As the scriptures say, he's going to fly away as a dream, man. Oh, you know, he, he's never going to be, you know what I'm saying, on this earth again. You know, he's going to destroy their spirit, man. So they're... He's not, he's not, they're gonna not gonna have a body to be put back into, man. Uh, ultimately, that was talking about the Roman Empire, you see what I'm saying? But we know that uh, America is the revised Roman Empire when it's all set down with. That's right. Oh, I'm, Isaiah 14. Isaiah 14? Yeah. Yeah, Isaiah 14 and 5, all the way to um 8. Isaiah chapter 14 verse 5 right the trees rejoice mean it's like the, the, the earth gonna flourish again uh -huh. you know you know they got their own they don't even they don't even deal with the land Sabbath uh -huh. you know uh -huh. Go ahead. it's Isaiah 14 and 5 it says the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shem, have broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers right yeah, yeah, yeah. he who smote the people in wrath yeah, yeah. with the continual strength he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindered. He's gonna be moved out of the way. Con. Con. That's why they say when the uh, wicked, when the wicked rule the people uh, uh, uh mourn, and when the righteous rule the people rejoice. So once that wicked is taken out of the way, hey, the people are gonna uh, uh, uh rejoice, man. And that wicked being uh the nation of uh uh, uh, uh Esau, man. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, they're that they're 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 that uh I ain't gonna say that word. They're that bug that's out here infecting the body yeah, of the can, earth, man. Cancer. A yeah, gun. So yeah, they have to be taken out of the way, man. Yeah, that's right. Keep going, bro. Canker. Yeah, the canker. That's what they are. <laughs> Verse 6 of Isaiah 14. It says, He who smote the people in wrath with the continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindered. The whole earth is at rest. Oh, the earth gonna be destroyed. <laughs> no, I said that. What? Go ahead. It says the whole earth is at rest <laughs> and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Right, there you go. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee and the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down, no feather is come up against us. There you go, all right. And, and feller means a fallen one. And Esau is that fallen one. All right. So it said what? Uh, it said the, the fir trees rejoice. That means all the plants and the trees gonna be able to repopulate the earth again. Yep. Because the first thing they did was I think it was Lebanon. They came into Lebanon when they took us down, and they they burned down all the trees. 
You know, they burned down all the trees in the forest because it was known for having a lot of trees. And now those trees are going to be back up again once we get there. That's right, man. Everything's going to flourish again. Yeah, they, yep, yeah, except that same thing. Esau uh, didn't lose his uh, bag of tricks. Got to take it. Keep going. Verse 9. Verse 9, my bad, yeah. Okay. Come on, this is Isaiah 14 and 9. It says, Hell from beneath is moved oh. for thee to meet thee at thy coming. Oh, yeah, we good. That was, yeah, that, that was the point we made. Come on. What's up? All right, run it. That was it on precept? No more precepts? Okay. You start wrapping it up then. All right. Anybody got some any precepts? I got one. Go ahead. Man. This is Exodus chapter 10. I'm going to start at verse 21. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand toward heaven, that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt, even darkness which may be felt. And Moses stretched forth his hand toward heaven, and there was a thick darkness in the land of Egypt three days. They saw not one another, neither rose any from his place for three days. But Damn. all the children of Israel had light yeah, that sounds, in their dwellings. That's how like lockdowns coming. And, that's, and, and that darkness is going to come upon the face of the earth again. And that light also that was in the dwelling of Israel is also going to come upon the face of the earth as well as uh, again. And you see it right now. You see the light of Yahweh Shemi outside that light that, that was in the dwelling of Israel right here upon the face of the earth. Right. We can also see the darkness that is slowly, uh, that, that is trying to strangle that light, but that but, but will not upon the face of the earth as well. This 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 society and this government that's ruled by wicked and, and dark individuals. Those uh, uh, the, the, and their their imaginations that we're trying to cast out of our people. Right, the, yeah, the light, <clears throat> the dark hopes to expand the same way light does. Just like the water hopes to expand against the sand, you see. But most high John chapter three, verse nineteen, and this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world. So, like the scripture said, gross darkness shall uncover the whole earth. And that, that, and who brought that darkness? That confusion Esau did. It says, and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil. Hated the light, neither cometh to the light, lest the deed should be reproved. <laughs> but he that doeth truth come to cometh to the light, that his deeds be made manifest, that they are wrought of in Yahweh, man. So it's gonna be manifested who those lights are, because their deeds are gonna be wrought in, 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 in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So therefore, the, the darkness, that gross darkness that covers the whole earth is trying to consume the light, but it ain't gonna be able to happen, man. Because that, that was the kind he said that's this is the condemnation of the world that, that light has entered into it. So Yahweh Shai became that condemnation of the world. Why? Because this is not of his kingdom. That's why he said, when you're talking about Titus and Baspasia, he said, Hereafter I will not talk much with you because the prince of this world cometh and he have nothing in me. There was no light in there. There was no there's no light in Esau's rulership. There's no light in the rise of the Roman Empire. All right, they came to bring darkness upon our people, man. So now Yahweh Shai and the men of Yahweh Shai come to bring that light mm. so they can see in darkness. All right, men after the Lord's own heart. All right. Any more precepts? We can wrap it up. Any more precepts? All right, you can close uh, it up. Oh, you got one? Amos <laughs> chapter 5, verse 4. It says, For thus saith the Lord Yahweh unto the house of Israel, seek, seek ye me, and ye shall live. So this is to our people. He's talking to the children of Israel, the house of Israel. He's talking to his people. He's telling his people to seek him and you will live spiritually and physically. Hey, they don't know what life is, man. Uh -huh. Like, what's that, um, what's that, um, what's it, um, the Marvin Gaye song? This ain't living. This ain't living. Right. Our people, our people think there's a way, there's life here on this earth without Yahweh Shah. They think they can find life in this system. But this system totally consumes you, man. Where I say it again, we live on a rock that provides everything that we need to sustain life. But we gotta get up and go to work, not to be able to get the stuff that we need. Yeah, yeah. and they make it illegal. And they make it. 
they, they make the plants and the veggies illegal. Right, they make it illegal. <laughs> and it was here before us. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I, and, and, and if we were to leave, the plants and, and everything would still grow. <laughs> yeah. So, and, you know what I'm saying? So this, this never the confused amount of our people that we need, that they need this system in order to live. Yeah. And this system would not be living if it wasn't for the people. Oh, God. Our people it's like it. The people are what uphold this system, this unrighteous rulership. Without the with, without the minions of this that 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 push this system forward, it, it wouldn't be able to uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't be able to continue to grow. Yeah. Proof that we do not need Edom, Edom need us. Mm. We don't need nothing from him. His companies wouldn't be nothing without us. Mm. His whole rulership, everything that he has in power, or whatever he got. It would not be anything if he could not enslave or oppress our people and other people. He would be nothing, right? Because he is nothing, right? And and I was watching the documentary about the Native Americans. They were talking about how Esau, the so-called Caucasian race, came in and 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 tried to pr convince them that he could make their life better. He said, "All I have to do is I, I wake up, I eat breakfast, I go hunt, I come home." I, I eat dinner, play with my children, then I go to sleep and have sex with my wife. And this and this he said this devil tried to convince me that he can make my life better. <laughs> like I, I, that's the oxymoron. How are you gonna make my life better by what going to work? You spend think about it, it's 24 hours in a day. Really it's only 12 hours in a day and 12 hours in the night. But think about it. <laughs> you spend eight of those 12 hours of daytime at work. Your children spend eight of those hours at school. You come home now, that's not even counting transit time. You need eight hours of sleep. That's 16 hours, now you got eight hours left to try to spend with your family. You get what I'm saying? Okay. This devil trying to consume your whole livelihood, your whole life into this system and our people are too blind to see the consumption that this, this thing does. That's why you always say, man, my burden is light. <laughs> it's easy, but what do we do? Even, so, so, um, so now look at it, we go to work every day knowing that, knowing that one day we're gonna wake up and all this is gonna be destroyed. So now we have a new livelihood of life. So now this, we, we no longer wear the burdens of the world. It's no longer a burden to us because we know there's an end to this. But before we didn't know it was an end. Uh, so it was really heavy on us. But look, the Lord took that burden off of us to put it on his shoulder. Can you imagine if he told us we had to physically fight to get the kingdom back? Oh, and, and then, you know, then he'd give us power? Right. <laughs> that wouldn't pan out too good. No, so. man. But now he gave us the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate weapon which is wisdom man yeah. well we do it the way the churches do we got to make money to get to the kingdom oh, God. We, we wouldn't make it yeah <laughs> all right you can close it out oh well, you got 50 you got eight seven more seconds anybody got any preach it oh, you can wrap it up you can wrap it up so, so with that that's basically the the lesson yahweh shin yahweh shai said man according to his heart man we pray and hope that this lesson was edifying for the hopeful elect out there watching because that's what it's all about so with that, we want to say, call, call, law, 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 Yahweh, Mahashel, Yahweh, Shad, Mahashel, Ha, Rakah, Padash, Ma, Ma, Ma. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. Our elder at the Lions Den kept as well. Our heroine Ban Yashaala. You know what I'm saying? I want to say peace and blessings to the man, woman, and children that believe in spirit and truth. Shalom. 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 Shalom.